everyone. I'm Caitlin Choquette, registered dietitian and host of The Chef's Table that's put on by the downtown Windsor Farmers Market. Today I'm standing here in Ford City outside the Grand Cantina restaurant. It's on the corner of Droulard and Welpton. If you haven't been here, make sure to stop by and check it out. Uh, we're going to go inside and meet both chef and owner John Alvarez um, and see what he's cooking today. Let's go in. My name is Chef John Alvarez. I'm uh, part owner here at the Grand Cantina. So I went to the farmer's market yesterday and picked out all these amazing fresh veggies from a lot of local farmers. Lion's mane uh, mushrooms from the Mushroom Hub. Uh, I picked up some baby carrots with tops on, an onion with a top. So I made a, uh, uh, a carrot top pesto using the tops of this fresh onion. I bought some beets, so I used beets, uh, the beet tops. So we're trying to utilize every part of the vegetable rather than just like the root or uh, just the stem. So what I did was I took uh, the carrot tops, top from the onion, the beets, put it into a blender with a little bit of garlic, uh, a neutral oil and walnuts and salted to taste with pepper and a little bit of lemon and lime juice, just for a little bit of acidity. So what I'm gonna do, I'll take my lion's mane mushroom and I'm gonna cut it to uh, like bite-sized portions. Then I'll, I'll season this with a little bit of oil and just salt and pepper. I'll do both sides. And I also started marinating some uh, prawns in some fresh cilantro, white onion, uh, canola oil, and just a little bit of smoked paprika. I'm gonna take my shrimp and sear that both sides till so they're completely cooked. And also my uh, mushrooms. I'm just gonna season the carrots with a little pepper, a little salt. And just some old bay. While that's cooking, I'm just gonna take this onion, reserve the tops. I'm gonna saute some of the uh, the beet leaves for this dish. We start off with some onion. On a medium high flame, a little bit of garlic. Just gonna saute that for about a minute or so just to get a little bit of color. Getting a nice sear on the shrimp and the mushrooms. A little bit of color on the carrots. So now these have sorted out, I'm gonna add my beet leaves. Just trying to utilize as much of the beet and uh, carrots as possible. And I'm just going to wilt that down just a little bit. My shrimp, carrots, lion's mane uh, mushrooms are already done cooking, so I'm going to take those off. And I'm going to plate. So I'm going to use my carrot top pesto. Putting it inside a plate, do a little swoosh. I'm going to take my sautéed beet tops. Nice little pile right in the center. And I'm going to take my prawns, my old bay carrots, and my lion's mane mushrooms. And add my prawns. I'm going to squirt a little bit of uh, lime juice just to finish. And there you have it. Carrot top pesto, lion's mane mushroom, local baby carrots with uh, fresh water prawns. Okay, so John, you made in there some carrot top pesto. That sounds amazing. Yeah, so just trying to utilize as much of the, uh, the carrot as possible. You know, so walking through the farmer's market was awesome. You know, you can talk to the local farmers that actually grew the uh, uh, veggies. I wanted to make use of everything and not just 
just the bases. I've never thought of using carrot tops. Yeah, it's good. You know, it's a, you know, like a, a twist on the Italian uh, classic, but it's, it's pretty delicious. Nice. This is such a beautiful space you have Thank back you. here. So this yeah. patio and uh, tell me a little bit about your restaurant. So can people stop by to do, um, do you do takeout and? Yeah, so we do a lot of takeout, which has been really good with, uh, with everything going on. Uh, but now stage two, the patio is open and, uh, you know, everybody's been really awesome and just happy to get out, especially with the, the weather being so nice. Before we wrap things up here, I have one more question. Um, so if you were talking to someone who had never been to a farmer's market before, um, they were new to farmer's market, sure. how would you describe to them the experience? How is it more than just, you know, picking up your fruits and vegetables? What makes it more than just, just that? And what makes it special? I like going to local farmer's markets because I get to walk up, talk to uh, the farmer, you know, make this rapport with them and, you know, friendships to where, you know, like as a restaurateur, I can call on these guys and say, hey, do you have any edible flowers uh, this week? If they say no, they can usually like the next, by the next week I go, they, they have like a bunch of different varieties for me. Mm. So they, they kind of, they're always in this process of growing. Yeah, and you can learn so much, right? About, yeah, the food yeah. systems and where things are grown and, I, yeah. I think it's very important to take care of the local farmers and being able to uh, just show them support, you know. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of hard work and a lot of uh, dedication they, they go through to produce like baby carrots or potatoes. Yeah. You know, and it's a, definitely a passion uh, yeah. and it's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So if you haven't yeah. already, definitely make sure to uh, go downtown. The downtown Windsor Farmers Market is on every Saturday from eight in the morning till 1 p.m. Um, it runs rain or shine all the way through till the end of October. And it's located on Polisher Street, uh, right at Maiden Lane. So right downtown, right in the heart there. Also, I'd like to make a big thank you to the city of Windsor for making the chef's table possible for a second year now through the Arts, Culture and Heritage Fund. So thank you, city of Windsor, and I hope to see everyone at the market. Bye.